now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, we went far this afternoon. We got warmer than even I anticipated, given the fact we had snow cover on the ground and some clouds. We started with a record low this morning of 11 here in the Tri-State. That beat the old record of 12, and we made it all the way into the low 40s this afternoon. So, hey, that November sun worked in our favor this afternoon. We're now beginning to tumble, though. It's down to 33 at the airport. We've got ourselves a pretty stiff west wind at about 17. Now, I can show you that fall, after topping out in the low 40s around 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, it's been a steady decline and it's actually accelerated some here over the past couple of hours as the cold front is now crossing right through the metro area. What happened? Well, earlier this afternoon, we had this clipper-like system cruising its way through the Great Lakes. We had nice, balmy, southwesterly breezes ahead of it, but now that the cold front is crossing through the area, those winds have turned back around to the west and northwest, and that is opening the door for some very chilly air to move in here. So tomorrow, don't go outside thinking it's going to feel like today because it's going to be much colder, and the winds will also be quite gusty as well. There's a little bit in the way of flurry or snow shower activity dipping across parts of northern Kentucky. I wouldn't rule out overnight tonight and even into the day on Thursday a few flurries or snow showers and you see some of that being picked up towards Indianapolis as that colder air moves in. So look at the winds here. They're pretty stiff out of the west at 10 to 15 miles an hour, and that is a brisk breeze that will blow and bring those wind chills down by morning, too. Right now, we're hovering in the 20s, but you can see low teens, and I think by morning, some areas may even be down in the single digits in terms of wind chills. So again, it was nice and mild this afternoon. Almost a heat wave, given what we've had. Tomorrow, though, is going to be back to reality, back to where we started the week with very chilly temperatures. So 32 now in Harrison, Hamilton 32, 31 in Mason, 35, Brooksville 37 in Maysville. But you see those upper 20s beginning to sneak their way into southeast Indiana. That is evidence of the colder air. Now, Futurecast isn't doing a good job with the clouds, but I think we'll have some fairly steady cloud cover tomorrow, too. It won't be quite as bright as it was today. There'll be a brisk wind out there. We'll start in the teens in the morning, and then temperatures during the afternoon will struggle to even get to freezing. We'll clear skies out tomorrow night. It will be frigid as we drop back into the mid-teens, and then it looks like we've got ourselves a very cold Friday coming up. So 18 for a low by morning. Again, it will be much colder than it was when you went in the house this evening. Expect mostly cloudy skies and a few flurries overnight into tomorrow as well. And then for your Thursday, temperatures will struggle to get up close to that freezing mark. We'll only make it up to about 30. It'll be breezy and cold, so it will feel like it's in the teens and 20s pretty much all day tomorrow, unlike the 40s we had today. Here's your day planner. Starting out the morning around 19, it will be breezy again. Only up to 27 by lunchtime, up to about 29, 30 by 3, 4 o'clock. And here's your seven day forecast. It stays very cold around here through Friday night, basically. The weekend we features a warm up. Temperatures will climb into the 40s on Saturday. Saturday doesn't look very wet, but Sunday does look very soggy across the area. Some showers lingering into Monday. And then those of you that are kind of itching towards your Thanksgiving plans, Wednesday, a big travel day. I don't see any big storms, so I think travel will be good, but it's looking chilly, though, for Thanksgiving here in the Tri-State. All right, Kevin, thank you. It is shopping time. And now